Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your iPhone or iPod Touch on iOS 4.2.1. This jailbreak will be tethered. Okay. First of all, you open up your browser. You search for download Red Snow 0.9.6b4. Okay, so I click on a link. So it gives me a link here for Windows. Click here. So this is the link. OSXDaily.com slash 2010 slash 11 slash 23 slash Red Snow 0.9.6b4 slash download. Well, you can search on Google and download from anywhere. So I'll click download for Windows. Well, actually, I have it in my computer, so I don't actually need the download, but I'll just show you, okay? So there, it shows that it's downloading. It's really small, 10.6 MB. Take 30 seconds. Well, we can do something else while that happens. Well, then when it's downloaded, it you extract, and then here I have a JB. Also, like if you have 4.2, I'm showing you for 4.2.1. Once so what you go is you go to this website, felixbruns.de slash iPod slash firmware. Okay, so this is a website opens up, shows you from where you can download your firmware. So download the firmware which you have in your iPhone or iPod Touch, which is 4.2.1, which I'm showing you. So here's iPod. This is for just the other iPods, not iPod Touch. This is iPhone slash iPod Touch slash iPad slash Apple TV. I have an iPod Touch 4G 4.2.1. So that's the last one. So I click here. It comes over there. And then look 4.2.1. I click download. And it starts downloading. But it'll be 609 MB. But um, I'll cancel it. So even Red Snow has been downloaded. Now once you have these both things, what you do is open up Red Snow. It will be your zip file. Open it up. This will be the software. Well, it's extracting. When that's done, it'll open up. Wait, I'll show you from here this. Now that this is done, here I have put it in jailbreak folder. Okay. Jailbreak point six before that. I just named it that. Then I open it. Red Snow. This is the software. First, be just read these three things here. Reading files. Then open up Red Snow. It pops up. It says, well, stuff. It says, please select the corresponding IPSW for current firmware, which is 4.2.1. Now, at, now I browse for it. I'll browse for it. Browse and if the window opens up, I go to my desktop, the jailbreak folder. And this is the soft I named it jailbreak. It isn't named jailbreak at the store. It's processing firmware. The next option is not available. It will be actually. Um, let's wait. Now it's available. So we click next. It says stuff patching kernel for it to be done so first then you are this is if this is the first time you're jailbreaking it you have to click install Cydia okay click it and if you want to enable battery percentage in your iPod touch which is only available in iPhone or you can you have to click it if you want to enable it I don't know about the iPhone but I know about the iPod touch perhaps you have to click it for the iPhone as well click it click next this is for the first time it's all Cydia so it says that click next only for device both off and plugged in well mine isn't off some things are downloading and I don't want to do the whole process again but when you click next it shows how to enter DFU mode hold down the power corner button and all this stuff well you can read the instructions and follow them well then after this is all done well you see that in the end I'll show you in the end, it says for 15 seconds, but the window closes after 9 seconds. Still, you have to keep on holding it for the rest of 9 seconds or it won't work. So what you do is then your iPod, there will be some commands going across the screen of your iPod Touch or iPhone. 
and then there will be a white screen, and then you'll see a pineapple. That's a sign for the jailbreak, and then you will, it will be saying loading. There's a loading sign. When it loads up, you just have to do is that you close this when it loads up, then open it up again. Do the same thing again. Click next. And this time, this time the only difference is that instead of clicking install CD, you click just boots tether now. After you have done these two options, click just boot tether now. Click next. Enter DFU mode like I showed you before, and then it turns your iPod or iPhone on. So, well, this was it. It's real simple, but the problem is that it is tethered. That is, if you turn it fully off by keeping holding the the restart button, this one, or the battery dies. Well, then uh, you'll have to turn it off by running red snow and clicking just boot tethered now or boot turn on, and it'll be stuck on the Apple logo. Well, in the, my next video, I'll show you how to get install us, which is like the App Store, which lets you download ga all games, all paid games for free. Thank you. Please, please rate and subscribe.